Hello everyone, my name is Suna. In this video, I'm going to teach you 10 moss and azalea builds that you can use for indoor and outdoor decorations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. For starters, you can use azalea and azalea leaves to make shrubs. Same works with flowering azalea. With this design, you can make them potted by placing them on moss and spruce trapdoors or you can use a moss block to create a different shrub design. You can place a flowering azalea on a flower pot to create a flower vase. Any wall fence works. With flowering azalea, you can make a small romantic table. You can not only make small tables with azalea, but you can add slabs to the side to make it bigger. For outdoor decoration, you can make an arbor with a spruce fence and flowering azalea. Now to me, this decoration mostly fits in wedding events, especially when you place candles on the sides. On the other hand, it can also be perfect for garden decoration, mostly for entrances and etc. Just like the arbor, we're going to make a floral arc using flowering azalea and glow lichens, this time without the spruce fence. One of my favorite uses of azalea is by turning them into a skirt to make hula dancers. If you don't know what hula dancers look like, here's a picture. I really love the idea of skirts as azalea, especially when the armor stand is in place, you can replace the steve heads into your head so it looks even funnier. All in all, the whole build looks hilarious. Flowering azalea leaves works best as vines when making Greek pillars. You can add glow lichens around for subtle lighting and detail. By placing moss on top of coarse dirt will make you a fake grass. To show you, here's a comparison of grass block and fake grass. Can you spot the imposter? Now I'm going to show you how you can make a swamp monster with moss block and azalea. Now we're going to use a green banner with red and green dyes for the swamp monster's face. Now the last step is to add the details. You may use vines, small drip leaves, glow lichen, and glow berries.
What I love about this build is the insane detailing of the swamp monster's body, his red eyes using banners, and the hanging berries from his arms which makes it realistic. With the same concept as the swamp monster, we can create a moss statue for garden decorations. And that's our simple moss statue. Let me know in the comments what you think of this idea. I hope you enjoyed today's video and before I let you go, I just want to say a quick thank you to some of you for sending me some fan arts. If you like to send a fan art or have any ideas to suggest, then be sure to join my discord and click the invite link in the description below.